NPD launch director on the underground one. Go ahead, sir. Okay, for the benefit of the, the team and the crew, we're, we're still waiting on the fog to burn off, and and that is happening. Uh, it should take another 15 minutes and a half an hour. We also are still waiting on the latest release uh, and evaluation of the the winds aloft data to run through the LC program, and that will take approximately a half hour. So uh, uh, just be advised, we'll still be in the hold here for another 30 minutes. Okay, I copy. Entity flight 212. Go ahead, flight. This time we are go for launch, and as soon as we can, we ought to do that. I understand, sir. Standing by now momentarily to Five, resume four, at T minus 9 and counting. Two, one, mark. T minus 9 minutes and counting. Coming up on T minus seven minutes, 30 seconds and counting. Go for OAA retract. And we have a go for orbiter access arm retract. Arm is being retracted back into the launch configuration. This arm can be extended in just a few seconds if necessary. T-minus seven minutes and counting. Yeah, let's go for purge sequence four. And we have a go for purge sequence four on the main engines. The valves on the main engines are being opened to allow liquid hydrogen to circulate in the engine's nozzles and turbo pumps to condition the engines for starting. This conditioning takes approximately three minutes and at the one minute point in the count, an engine ready indication will be given. T-minus three minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. We are now transferring to internal power and switching off the orbiter's ground support equipment power bus. At this point, Discovery is running off its onboard fuel cells. TLT, clear caution or warning. Pilot Blaha has been asked to clear the caution and warning memory, and the gaseous oxygen vent hood is now being lifted off the top of the tank and be retracted to the launch configuration. At T minus two minutes, the flight crew will be instructed to close their visors. And flight crew, this OTC, close and lock your visors, initiate your O2 flow, and have a good ride. Yeah, let's go for T minus one minute, 50 seconds and counting. We've had a go for liquid hydrogen pressurization on the external tank. Minus one minute. Just seconds away now from liftoff of Discovery. All systems are go. Coming up on T-minus 31 seconds. We have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's four redundant computers have primary control of critical vehicle functions for the remainder of the count. T-minus 20 seconds. 15 seconds. T-minus 13, 12, 11, 10. We have a go for main engine start. Six, five. We have main engine start. Three. Two, one, SRB ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of STS-29 as Discovery clears the tower.
Runway throttle up, call. Discovery, go and throttle up. Roger, go and throttle up. Mission Control, that call means all systems are performing well as the shuttle main engines have resumed their uh, firing at 104% of rated thrust. Relative velocity now 2,400 feet per second. Climbing at a rate of 1,700 feet per second. Downrange distance 11 nautical miles. SRB separation standing by for a performance call from Mission Control.